<laughs> Dots. Why are you so nice? Eh? I swear to God, if they start dating, and he seriously starts dating this You're chick, gonna hate this. Like his sister. You are going to hate this cutscene. What? It looks like his sister! You, I know, but you're gonna hate this cutscene. I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no future need to care about me, is there? Ah, too far! There you go. <laughs> there you go. Questions. I mean, I certainly wasn't depending our friendship solely to get you to model for me. Oh. Then what did you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Aeta. Hold on. What's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in particular out of you. That can't be right. It, it just doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate motives or pros or cons when I'm making friends with people. Do you, Shiro? Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in such a situation. Then have you already forgotten what it means for people to interact with a reason? My mom does it, does it to preserve our family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. You're overthinking it, Mishiro. I don't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. Dots. <laughs> <laughs> I heard your mom had been disciplining you harshly ever since a few years ago. And that your high school is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how things are, so loosen up, okay? Dots. Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think of that about me. I, I, I didn't mean to say... I'm just kidding. Really though, enough of all the overly logical thinking. Or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. Dots. Alright, let's go. Um, <laughs> dramatic dot. Hmm. Then, Mishiro, watch out. Are you serious? Uh huh. Are you serious? Oh. He pushes her out of the way. I need to get you to the secret ending, because the secret ending explains who's in the driver's seat. Man, that's even more fucked up. Okay, yeah. I am <laughs> It's her grandfather. No. It's her dad. Nope. I'll keep guessing. No. Keep guessing. Go for it, but how that you know it? Because you don't know the full story yet. Dots. Aito protected her from the reckless driver headed towards her, by becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mashiro Yasui's heart died in that instant. And her loss of hope from losing Aito carried her to Mirror Lake, in which she threw herself in despair. All these things, Mashiro remembered. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Dots. Dots. <laughs> you got the six dot. That's how you know something fucking happened. <laughs> Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. I know what she lost. But do you know her wish? I know her wish. What's her wish? To get what's his nuts nope. back. I know her wish. She could have been driving that car. Nope. Why would she... you want to drive the car? Do you <laughs> want to kill him? Let's be honest here. Alright, 
So, um... Let's see. I can go to that one silver room from before. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take you to those afterwards. So go in the gold no! room. No! The reason, the reason you want to is because you need certain things out of each of the rooms to get all the silver doors for the guy and the girl. Make sense? Yeah. Yes. Alright, so this has a certain way to go. It's pretty simple, though. Um, I got this. I got this. Yeah. It, it's pretty straightforward. I got this. Fate. This is like the only one that is really calm, so take it in. <laughs> Can I eat? No, you can't, but it does give you the hint of that. A great pretty white dress. A piano. A Shiro can't find. Teddy bear! Oh, and the teddy bears are like a signal of like uh, where the different mirrors are for the characters. So like whenever you oh. see a teddy bear, they lead to that. No, no, no. Uh, the door's gone. It, it disappears. When you're ready, go through the final door. This is for your last mirror. You mean for this her. door? For her. Nope. You just got reset all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> no, that's the last guy's mirror. Um, the the guy you haven't even gotten his story behind yet. Yeah. That's his mirror. Wait, what do you mean this is like... Wait, so if I had been going through, like, say, that door, I just reset? Yeah. That's weird. Like, it seems so straightforward. Why would it be that easy? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't even realize that that was a... Th oh, thing. Final mirror. Look in anyway. Now you leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We don't need any more. Two years ago. A middle school. The day she fucked up. Hey, Suey. You're late. Because I had Jim. I don't care. Just give us our homework. You did do it, didn't you? Did do it, didn't you? Did do it, didn't that, that's you? Right. That's right. That's right. Tongue twister. Dots. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get in the mood for three math worksheets? Thanks, little views. 1,000 yen. B for every wrong answer. You're rich. So that's enough responsibility, eh? Are you Canadian? Duh. What am I doing? Eh? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. You listening, Yasui? Always spacing out. The blank stare, Yasui, right? Does this class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, nobody's gonna notice you. Not even Senpai? <laughs> You might notice me. I've been dealing with them for about three months. They're just letting out stress for the coming exams. They're not going to a decent high school anyway. That's the sort of thing I think about as I let it wash over me and endure. With the recent death of my grandpa, a famous artist, the Asui family has been in turmoil ever since. Oh, 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 wait, no, that's Billy. Oh, okay. I was really afraid that that was. I was like, was... no, don't. It's okay, it's Billy. Heart attack. Just gotta reset Billy real quick. Bum, 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 ba, and Billy's back. Uh, no, he's back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I, know, I saw that, I was like, what are you doing? Oh, you did it again. So I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school. At home, I care for my family and school for these losers. I feel myself withering, lonely and doubting. What am I living for? I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not you jerks. Say, did you know? I do, contrary to appearances. She really likes frilly outfits. Not me a dick. Huh? Oh, uh, 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 You gotta ex do that exclamation point on uh, the spot, too. Huh? For real? Well, I mean, that's what he said. I don't know. Okay. Totally, like, Gothic Lolita and stuff. She's gone out like that on her days off. Now that's something. So cute, Yasui. You wanna be a princess? Don't talk about people's tastes like that. You, I can probably guess what that word is, but we're not going to. Hmm. 
Don't be to talk about people like that, you games? salads. I was thinking games. <laughs> Lunches. Damn. Well, it's about time, Yasui. Show us your cute little clothes, Yasui. Let us snap some pics. Don't rob me of one thing free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favorite clothes, Sunday or something. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know, Yusui? Always such a dim, awkward girl. But today, you'll get to be a pretty frilly princess. Oh, so adorable for her age. Dave. <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> Don't make me any more angry. You won't like me. Hmm, you say something. What, Yusui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your trap, guys. Yusui wants to say something. Hmm? Get off. Not good. I can tell my emotions are getting uncontrollable. If I stay silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please, don't reach for my pockets. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, it'll turn the world upside down. What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie, Yasui. Knock it off, you... Games? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh... Yes, in that moment, Miss Mishiro Yasui took out a small hidden knife and swung it at the delinquent. It left a trail of red on the girl's hands, six centimeters long. Immediately after this incident, a teacher heard a scream and came running. It wasn't a severe wound, so it didn't affect my school record such that I couldn't graduate. And the delinquents no longer approached me. In fact, no one in my class did. Ooh. Well, that kind of sucks. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in the name of correction. That was this memory. Now to just break the mirror. Don't. Don't. Not. Stab, stab the knife into your throat. Why? Because that's bad, and the no, not yet. Like, you remember how you're supposed to break all the mirrors once your memory's done? If you don't break the mirror, you get stuck there. I mean, you can choose to if you want, but... It's just gonna say dead end, like, last time. Fine. <laughs> Hug me, bully. Good, good. Hug me, bully. Billy is my senpai. <laughs> Dots. Mishiro came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt, the, felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Yes, in the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife on those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to call my parents as they dealt with the inheritance went to waste. I set off a bomb just waiting to burst. My mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right. And so I lost the place to belong. Can you make the mouse? That is absolutely bothering me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just as the Mishiro regained a piece of her memory. She felt as if she'd lost something important. God damn it, what does she keep losing? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to find out. Alright. Okay, so now I just gotta go get all the different mirrors. Gotcha. And I have them, actually. No! Oh, you, you'd be finding them for a while, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so, and you also have to get an order. Uh, go down. What? I have yep. to get an order? Yeah. Kind like, of... you can't get Yuzu's third mirror without getting her first and second. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. That's how the storyline goes. I mean, you're not going to get a storyline out of order. Alright. So, um... Alright. So... Go into the realm of death. I think it's... The one on the opposite side. I think that's the realm of death. Check. On the wall. Yes. Alright. And then, uh... It's time for the walkthrough. Yeah. Alright. So, go... Go down and go all the way.